Hi everyone, it's Patty Behan, and thank you for joining me in the studio today. In this video, I'm going to show you our Glow Up Embossing Powder. This embossing powder is perfect for your Halloween projects because it glows in the dark. So let's get started. All right, to begin, what I have here is a piece of Distress Black Heavyweight Cardstock, a stencil, we have our Glow Up Embossing Powder and our Embossed Dabber. And so I place the stencil onto the cardstock where I want it. And then I'm working on the Wendy Vecchi Make Art Station. And I'm gonna put our magnets down to hold the stencil. And then what we want to do is prime our dabber. So I'm going on the craft sheet here and when I see the ink flowing, I know that it's ready to go. I'm just pressing it down and there's a valve in here that releases the ink. So then the next thing I'm going to do is just um, dab the ink through the stencil until I cover all the areas. And I'll try to work quickly here. The dabber is great when you have these big areas to fill in really quickly, aside from using like an embossing pad. And when I see it, the top is getting a little dry, I'm gonna press it down again and then release some more ink because it releases a little bit of ink at at a time and when you use it up you need to cover the surface again of the dabber. Okay and that looks pretty good. I'm going back to the top here in case it dried a little bit. Once that's done, I can take off the magnets and remove the stencil, like so. And then I'm going to re get ready to pour the embossing powder over top. I'm going to put a piece of scrap paper over here. And then I'll sprinkle the powder over top. And then remove the excess. And make sure I get all the areas here. This is gonna make a really fun Card. I can't wait to show you how this embossing powder looks once it's melted. Okay, and so I'm going to pour this back into the jar. And then we're just going to get this out of the way. to go ahead and use my heat tool to melt the powder. Now this tool is loud, so I'm just gonna um, melt the powder and then I'll turn this on. melted and we want to cool it down before we put the card together and if you'll notice when I was embossing I hold it in one spot until I see it melt and then I gradually move the tool around until everything is melted so let's put this card together and I'm gonna glue this down to the center So, 
And then I've already prepared um, some of the things that I'm going to put on here. I've used um, lime tinsel embossing powder and orange tinsel for the sentiment. And we're gonna put these on as well. I used some double-sided foam tape here to raise the sentiment up a little bit. And I think I'll put it right here. And then I have a couple of my little bats. I put the same thing, I put some foam tape on there and I'll have my bats kind of flying off in the distance. And then, so now we have our card all put together. And I love that tinsel embossing powder, it's so sparkly. And I'm going to show you what it looks like when it glows in the dark. So what you have to do is take a light to charge the embossing powder so that it will glow in the dark. So I'm just taking my phone and I am putting my flashlight to it. And then once this is charged, we're gonna turn out the lights and then you'll see the magic happen. And here, look at how cool that is that it glows in the dark. Such a fun powder to use. So now we have, um, I'm gonna clear out this spot. And I have several cards that I wanna show you and then I'll show you what they look like before we charge them and then we'll turn off the lights again and you can see the magic. So we have this here that um, the moon is with the glow up and the background. And for this one, we have it on craft in the background and in the pumpkins. And this is a fun shaker card. There's um, some glitter in here and these little lines are the glow up powder. For this one, the hearts are lit up. And this is fun. The sentiment is all embossed in glow up. And our last one is a big surprise. And I'll let you see what that looks like when we turn off the lights. So let me just configure these a little better so I can get them all in the screen. Okay, and now I'm gonna charge them up like I did the last time. Now we're going to go ahead and turn off the lights. And wow, you can see how fabulous these are. This is great for Halloween, but you can also use the glow up powder for any occasion. I hope this inspires you to give this a try. And for more videos on Ranger embossing powders, keep watching this series. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.